Welcome back. Kansans have their chance this morning to talk to a real NASA astronaut. Yeah, Colonel Nick Haig is a Hoxie na native and has definitely made his mark in space where he orbited Earth more than 2,000 times and also nearly 20 hours of space box and is the only American to survive an aborted space mission. Cakes Ka Taylor Bozer joins us live now from the Kansas Aviation Museum with Colonel Haig. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning to you both. I feel like so many kids grow up wanting to be an astronaut, and now we are talking to a real life one, Colonel Nick Haig. I mean, were you one of those kids who always wanted to be an astronaut? Absolutely. You know, it, growing up, you stare at the night sky and you see all the stars, and you just wonder what's out there. So why not go figure out what's out there? It will, and now you know. Can you give? I mean, for people who have never been to space, so most people, uh, what's mm -hmm. it like being up there? Well, first off, being able to float around. Uh, and it turns you into that kid that always wanted to go into space. So you play with your food and you do flips and twists and you have fun. Um, but it changes you. Being able to look down at the earth and, and see it from that vantage point has a life change on your perspective. So can you talk about when you went up to space and how long you were up there for? Yeah, sure. So it was a little over two and a half years ago. I launched the International Space Station out of the Baikonur Cosmodrome uh, on the opposite side of the earth from us. And I was up there for a little over seven months. Oh my gosh. Okay. And you are the only American, only Kansan that gets dicey, but to survive yeah. a launch abort. Yeah. What, so, what's that like? So the, uh, the state motto at Astra for Aspera kind of rings true. Uh, there are challenges. And so on my first attempt to get to the space station back in October of 2018, our rocket failed. And so Oof. we were, we were going 4,000 miles an hour, 30 mile, or 4,000 miles an hour, 30 miles above the earth and the rocket came apart. And so luckily all the systems that are supposed to work when something like that happens saved us and I was able to launch again five months later. So not entirely a fail because you're still alive, thank goodness. Were you nervous that five months later to go back up again? You know, it, you, you're nervous every time, but if I was gonna, it, there's all kinds of feelings that you feel. But the one that you really, that, that kind of is the strongest is this sense of there's so many people that have dedicated their lives to making it possible for you to do what you're doing. You just don't want to let anybody down. You don't want to make any mistakes. Yeah, okay, we were talking earlier about spacewalks. That's, mm -hmm. you know, one of the highlights that people always want to know about. Can you talk about the feeling, the experience, all that fun stuff? Yeah, so you open the hatch and you look down 250 <laughs> miles. No. And, there, and there's the earth <laughs> and it's time to get to work. And it's amazing because the training that we spend so many hours doing leading up to that puts you at home. And so you just get down to doing business. But you pinch yourself every now and then and you steal a few seconds here or there to take in the view. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what all do you have going on in, in Wichita in the Wichita area this week? Yeah, so, so th this morning I'm going to talk at the Kansas Aviation Museum and then tomorrow I'm going to go up to Hutch and talk at the Community College as well as the Cosmosphere. Uh, and then on Wednesday, I get to visit my, you know, one of my hometowns, uh, Peabody, and, and talk to the school system there. So looking forward to sharing my experiences with everybody. And basically telling kids at that school, I did it, you could do it too, right? Yeah, I was in your seat, and it, it, I was able to do this, so there's nothing that you can't do if you put your mind to it. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much, Colonel Haig. Uh, best of luck in going to space. If you do go again, um, I know I will not be going to space. Shane and Annette, I don't think you guys will either. Send it back to you guys.